Nancy Giles tells us all about a beverage with moxie. There's Coke, there's Pepsi, there's Seven Up. But in the state of Maine, the soft drink they celebrate is moxie. Moxie actually outsold Coca-Cola nationally in the 1920s. And gave us a new word. The word Moxie is in the English language, meaning pluck and verve and strength. Few people know that that word came from the drink. Merrill Lewis enjoys spreading the word about his favorite drink at the Moxie Museum in Union, Maine. Birthplace of Dr. Augustine Thompson, who began selling his Moxie nerve food in Lowell, Massachusetts in 1885. What were some of the claims of, of things that it could cure? Well, it could cure nervous exhaustion, loss of manhood, imbecility. I like to say everything from halitosis to hangnail. <laughs> <laughs> Moxie was actually the Viagra of its day, <laughs> you know? Who knew? Jim Baumer wrote the book on Moxie. Moxie's real sort of heyday was early 1900s. Every major city in America had a large billboard about Moxie. Sides of buildings with the Moxie logo with these advertisements that were painted on the building. You had Moxie in magazines. Wherever there was a marketing sort of presence, Moxie jumped in and was part of that. It was a marketing blitz unheard of at the time. Moxie songs, celebrity endorsements, a Moxie game, Moxie candy, something called a Moxie horse mobile. That is a horse mounted on a car chassis that somebody sat on and drove around the country. And a Moxie boy. That's the, the guy that points. Yeah, the guy that points and he's got dark eyes and he's pointing at you, said, drink my Moxie or I'll kill you. And if the Moxie boy looks familiar, according to Moxie lore, this iconic World War I poster was designed from the Moxie boy. Seriously? Seriously. Every summer, with a two-year break for COVID, folks from all over have gathered in Lisbon Falls, Maine to celebrate Moxie with parades. You've got Moxie. Bake-offs. You need to have as much Moxie as possible. Moxie memorabilia and Moxie ice cream. Good. If you drink Moxie, you have Moxie. And you have Moxie if you drink Moxie. Simple as that. Simple as that. By now, you're probably wondering what Moxie tastes like. Well, it's kind of hard to describe, but that doesn't stop anyone from trying. Not real sweet, but very good. Sort of like root beer and Coca-Cola and okay. coffee all together, you. and you mix it up, and it's good warm, cold. It tastes like a rugged root beer. I personally think it tastes like a little bit of flat root beer, a little bit of flat Pepsi, mixed with a little drop of cough syrup. So there you have it, a soft drink that inspired a word. And, according to Moxie enthusiasts, might be just what we need today. What this country needs is plenty of moxie, <laughs> and it does.